In this video, we will take a look at the After Effects work area. After Effects offers a flexible and customizable work area. The main window of the program is called the application window. Inside this application window, we have different panels and panel groups, and these together form the so-called workspace. Let's go through the most important elements of this workspace. First of all, as in most of the software programs, we have an application menu right here. Then beneath this application menu, we have the so-called toolbar. Here you can access all the different tools that are available in After Effects. Right beneath our toolbar, we have our first panel that is called the project panel. Inside the project panel, you can organize and arrange all the assets that you imported or that you created in this project. You see that here we have some compositions and we have some folders with some subfolders in them and here all our assets that are used in this project are organized and are accessible. The next important panel is the so-called composition panel. The composition panel has two main functions. First of all, it is like the artboard or the work area of After Effects where you can position and manipulate your assets and your footage elements. And it is also the area where you can create previews and preview your animation. The next important panel is the so-called timeline. The timeline consists of two parts. We have on the left here the timeline panel and on the right we have the timeline graph. In the timeline panel, you can open up your compositions. You see that right now the render composition is open. There are other compositions that we can access here that are already open. So I can open up all my compositions in the timeline and then I can access all the different layers, all the assets that form this composition. In the timeline panel, you can access all the parameters and effects that are applied or available for a layer. And on the right in the time graph, you can use the time indicator to scroll through your animation and it is also used to animate certain properties or parameters over time and create keyframes. On the right here we have a few additional panels. We have a panel group consisting of the info panel. The info panel will give you a few information about the color values and also about the x and y values of your cursor. And you see that there is another panel active here and this is the audio panel. So this is a so-called panel group if two panels share one panel space here in the workspace layout. Beneath this, we have the preview panel. In the preview panel, you can create RAM previews of your work. And down here, we have the effects and presets panel, and we have the libraries panel. So if you see these arrows here, it always means that this is a panel group and it always means that there is more to access. If we click this, you see that here we have the libraries panel and we have the effects and presets panel right here. So these are the panels that are visible in the standard workspace layout of After Effects, but there are more panels. If you want to access additional panels, then you can come up here to the application menu and you can choose window. If we take a look at this window tab here, you see that here we have all the panels that are available in After Effects. Some of them are already checked and this means that they are now visible or that they are part of a visible and active group in our workspace layout. If we want to open up additional panels, like for example, let's open up the Effect Controls panel, then we simply click on this panel and After Effects will open up the Effect Controls panel. We now can, of course, manipulate and rearrange the layout of our workspace. First of all, we can change the size of panel groups or of panels. There you just move your cursor over these lines here, the borders of the panels, and then the cursor will change to this icon, which will show you in which direction you can drag. So simply click with the left mouse button and hold, and then you can drag it to the right or to the left to make this panel here bigger. You can do the same down here, of course, you can do the same with all the panels and panel groups in After Effects. To change the position of a panel, you can grab the panel by simply clicking on the name of the panel and dragging it out of its panel group. And now you see the so-called drop zones is activated. The drop zones represent the position where you can snap the panel. We could now snap it to the right of our project panel. So let's snap it right here, release the mouse button, and then you see After Effects will position it to the right of our project panel. We can of course also put it here on the bottom, 
like so, or we could also bring it in and snap it to our timeline right here. So this is how you can easily create your own workspace layouts. Let's drag this panel up here again and snap it on the right to our project window. If you want to add it back to a panel group, then you simply drag it in the middle of the drop zone here and then After Effects will create this panel group. After Effects has some pre-built workspace layouts and you can access them right here. You see that right here in the bar we have four available screen layouts. So if I click on Essentials then the look will change a little bit. You see that now we have these panel groups here where I can click and open the panels by clicking on their names. We have the standard layout and a small screen layout and one that's called Libraries. But there are even more workspaces right here. So for example, we can access something to paint and then you see that it will change quite a bit. Now we have a new panel right here that we never saw. This is the layer panel. The layer panel is a panel that is like a footage preview panel. So in comparison to the composition panel, it doesn't show the whole content of a composition. It only shows the content of one layer or of one footage item. You also have the possibility to edit your workspaces. Therefore, simply click the arrows here and go to Edit Workspaces and then you see you can rearrange this. First of all, we have the bar here. These are these workspaces that are visible right here in the bar. And then down here we have the Flow menu, the Overflow menu, where all the other workspaces are visible. Now you can say, okay, I use the Animation Workspace, for example, a lot and I can drag it up here, but I never use the Library panel, so I drag this in here. Then you can click OK and you see that this changed now. I can access the animation workspace right here in the bar. You can of course also create your own workspaces. So let's go back to the standard workspace. Let's select our effect controls panel and let's dog it to the right of our project. And let's say you want this to be a standard workspace. And then you can go here to this menu, the three lines always represent menus where you can click and then there are more options to access. And here you can say, I want to save this as a new workspace. Now you can type in a name, let's say new standard. Click OK. And you see After Effects now added this new workspace. Now I can go back to my standard workspace and you see this also has our effect controls panel in here because After Effects will remember changes that you make to this workspace. And you can always reset it to the saved layout. So you click this menu here and then you can select reset to saved layout and it will go back to the layout that you saved under this name. So this is now the standard and now I can access my newly created workspace, the new standard right here by clicking here. And now you see that my effect controls panel is visible right here. Okay, so this is it with the first overview over the work area of After Effects. And in the next video, we will take a look how to navigate in certain After Effects panels.